Hey guys, we're backstage at Anderson Live. I'm with pet sidekick to the stars, Melissa Bacillar, along with Travis, our makeup artist, and his dog, Miranda Fairchild. Miranda's been having some problems lately. What did you want uh, Melissa to help you with? Okay, where is Miranda most comfortable? Is she most comfortable with myself or with my mom? With you. This dog is an extension of you. Everything, and it's so funny to look at this little dog who's so comfortable and so happy and so sweet and think that she could ever be a problem. <laughs> but she's been lashing out. Well, that is because she feels like, she. first of all, she feels like she's your child. Second of all, she's telling me that she and you have a special bond and connection. And although she loves your mother, just like you, she doesn't want to live with your mother. So you could love your mother you could feel completely connected with your mother she thinks your mother's amazing and if your mother came to visit she would be happy and all over her and sitting on her lap and lovey 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 but the second she realized that it was a permanent situation like oh i'm going to live with this woman she was like uh-uh i need my dad every time i go home because i live in new york and my mother lives in atlanta and for the past seven months uh miranda has been in atlanta with my mom because i live in a small apartment and Miranda has the total reign of my mother's house. Right. She's totally pampered. She gets oatmeal baths every week. <laughs> she Travis. gets rubs and walks. Travis, do you want to go live in Atlanta with your mom? No. Right? So either does Miranda, and that's what it's about. This is your dog, and she's telling me that when she was really little and you got her, she's showing me that you got her, she's just showing me images. So the image that I'm getting is like glass, and I'm getting some kind of either white paper or something that was on the ground that she was on playing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she was with another, at least one other dog, if not two or three. She was, her brother. Okay. And I feel like you chose her. And when you walked into that pet store, I'm mm -hmm. assuming it was, you immediately knew, like, this is my dog. And she knew that as my dad. And I feel like she was also, in the beginning, sick. And I'm feeling respiratory. I'm feeling lungs. I'm feeling something was going on where you guys really bonded yes she was having some issues it was almost like she was having like minor little seizures yeah. she would shake yeah and so i had to give her like sugar and you freaked out yes i did and, and i was calling the pet store and right was trying but to you get didn't her. want to give her back because you were already in love with her yes and that's when you guys really bonded and at that point she really took on a lot of your it's just like a child she took on a lot of your personality traits so this dog is an extension of you, and she's great when she's with you, but when she's not with you, she's throwing temper tantrums. So and a week and a half ago, she ran up underneath the ottoman, uh -huh. and she even growled at my mother. Right. She growled and barked at my mother, and this dog does not growl or bark. And it's not because she doesn't love your mother, because she does love your mother. It's that she loves you and is connected to you more. But what about the time? I don't have the time. My lifestyle, I can't hold and caress her all day right but that's why I mean I almost think a better situation for her would almost be to get another Yorkie oh my god no <laughs> whether or not you believe in a psychic or not you know I want to know how can you tell this about Miranda you just met her today you know what happens is it's all energy it's all mental telepathy so Miranda is giving me images feelings like for example when I told you she was sick mm -hmm. my nose started to clog up so and my throat started to close even talking about it now so I immediately knew there was something respiratory there was something going on with her that she didn't feel good in the beginning mm -hmm. and I feel like it was a short period of time two yeah. weeks yes like and that was it and she knew that but you took such good care of her and you held her and you loved her and she knew she was protected and that was it for her she knew you were going to protect her for the rest of her life. So, Melissa, not everyone has the ability to be a pet psychic, but what can we do to better understand our dogs? The best thing that anybody can do is really take a look at themselves. Because when we have a little dog, or a big dog, they are taking on our personality traits and completely. she's a showboat. She loves oh, to. Is that she, anything like her dad? Well, she loves to. She loves to be rubbed. She's very affectionate. Do you um, think that's maybe Travis? I mean, you two be rubbed. You two. I mean, this is what people can do. If you want to know what's going on with your dog, take a look at yourself. Usually, we pick animals, and we have animals in our life that reflect us. Thank you, Travis. Thank you, Miranda. Thank you, Melissa. You can check out more clips from the show on AndersonCooper.com.